So the course of time is really very much like the course of a ship in the ocean. Because here's the ship, you see, and it leaves behind it a wake. And the wake fades out, and that tells us where the ship has been in just the same way as the past and our memory of the past tells us what we have done. But as we go back into the past and we go back and back to prehistory and we use all kinds of instruments and scientific methods for detecting what happened, we eventually reach a point where all record of the past fades away in just the same way as the wake of the ship. Now the important thing to remember in this illustration is that the wake doesn't drive the ship any more than the tail wags the dog. So therefore, in this way, you experience, if you experience this, a curious liberation from what the Hindus and the Buddhists call karma. The word karma uh, in uh, Sanskrit actually means doing, action. Uh, karma comes from the root, the root, kri, which simply means to do. And so when something happens to me, say I have an accident or an illness, and a Buddhist or a Hindu will say, well, it was your karma. In other words, the implication is you had done something wrong in the past as a result of which you reap this unfortunate consequence in a later time. Now that's not the real meaning of karma. Karma does not mean cause and effect. It simply means doing. That, in other words, you are doing what happens to you. And that, of course, depends upon how you define the word you. For example, we were talking about breathing. Am I doing it or is it happening to me? You can look at it either way. I am growing my hair. Am I doing it or is it happening to me? You can look at it either way. All right, I am being sick. I am being destroyed in an accident. If I define myself as the whole field of events we'll say the organism environment field, which is the real me, then all the things that happen to me may be called my doing. And that is the real sense of karma. But when we speak about freedom from karma, freedom from being the puppet of the past, that simply involves a change in your thinking. It involves, in other words, you're getting rid of the habit of thought whereby you define yourself as the result of what has gone before and instead get into the more plausible and more reasonable habit of thought in terms of which you don't define yourself in terms of what you've done before but in terms of what you're doing now. And that is liberation from the ridiculous situation of being a dog wagged by its tail.